Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to increase your WordPress upload file size limit. So let's get right into it. WordPress has a maximum file size for uploads, and if you want to know what your site's upload limit is, you can visit media, add new, and below the upload box you'll see maximum upload file size with a number next to it in megabytes. This is how big your uploaded files can be. By default, this number ranges anywhere from 2 megabytes to 128 megabytes. If you find yourself on the smaller end of that scale, you may want to increase your upload limit to accommodate larger media files. Unfortunately, there's not a one-size-fits-all solution for increasing this limit. How you actually go about increasing the upload limit of your install depends on how your server is configured. In the end, you might have to try a few things before you find something that works. I'll be covering a few different ways to increase your limit in this video. Before you even get started, trying out different solutions, it can be useful to try and get some details about how PHP is configured on your site. Luckily, PHP has a simple function to help you do this. Create a new file in the text editor of your choice and add this line of code to it. PHP, PHP info. All the code mentioned in today's video will be available in the blog post linked in the description. Save the file as info.php and now upload it to the root directory of your server. Now you can visit your website slash info.php and this will give you a full list of details about your PHP configuration. There's a lot of information here, but you can ignore most of it. The most important part of this file is which PHP version you're running. It's important to pay attention to the first number of your version, which will probably be PHP 4 or PHP 5. Some of the steps we'll be taking today do require you to know which version you're running, so just take a mental note. There are three settings within this PHP info file that are relevant to your upload limit. You can search through the file to see what they are currently set to. The first one is memory limit. This defines how much memory is allocated to PHP. You'll simply need to ensure that this number is as high or higher than the upload limit you want to set. As you can see, mine is set to 128 megabytes. The next one is post max size. This defines the maximum size that is handled in a post request. We'll need to set this to our new upload limit, especially since it's only eight megabytes. And finally, upload max file size. This defines the maximum size for file uploads. This will also be set to our new upload limit. As you see, it's two megabytes, just like we saw on the WordPress site. Now that we have a little bit of info on our PHP setup, we can try a few different methods for increasing our file size limit. Before you start making changes to your server's configuration, back everything up. Now we need to find your php.ini file. This is usually in your root directory, but it's different for every host. Simply check your host documentation for its exact location. Once you find it, open it in any text editor. We'll be modifying a few values, so you'll need to search through the file to find them. For this tutorial, I'm going to increase my upload limit to 64 megabytes. You can go higher than this, but it's not recommended that you go higher than 128 megabytes. First things first, we're going to find the memory limit value and change it to 64 megabytes or higher. Now for me, it was already set at 256 megabytes, so I don't need to make any changes. Next, find the post max size and we'll be changing this to 64 megabytes. And finally, go to upload max file size and change this to 64 megabytes. It's important that we use an M to define our file size limit in megabytes instead of the commonly used MB. You may also want to find the max execution time variable and set it to something like 300. This will ensure that your site does not time out when uploading larger files. When you're done, save and upload your file back to your server. It may take a little while for these changes to take effect and you may have to clear your browser and site's cache. And now when you visit media, add new, you'll see your new maximum upload file size set. If you're unable to find your php.ini file or if your web host does not give you access to it, you may be able to create your own file to override the default settings. To do so, create a new file, open it up in your text editor and paste the following code. This code is available in the blog post linked in the description. Now save it as php.ini just like before and drag it into the directory of your WordPress install using FTP. If that method is still not working for you, you may have another option. This will only work if you're using a version of PHP 5. Otherwise, you can skip this part. Create a new file and paste the following code. And this time we're gonna call it .user.ini. Now upload this file to the directory of your WordPress install using FTP and see if it worked. If you're still having issues, then we'll try making a change to your htaccess file. In general, htaccess is used to configure an Apache server. However, it can also be used to change PHP values if your PHP version is set up as an Apache module. Before editing your htaccess file, make sure you have a backup. 
To access your file, go to the root directory of your WordPress install. Make sure that you've enabled your FTP client to view hidden files, then open up the file labeled HT Access. At the bottom of your file, paste in this code, which again is available in the blog post linked in the description. And now you can go ahead and upload this back to your server. If you're still not seeing your new upload file size limit set, then we need to try editing your wp-config.php file located in your root directory. And at the bottom of the file, we're going to paste this line. Now go ahead and upload this back to your server. But before we're done, we're going to go into wp-content themes, your current theme and edit functions.php at the very top, paste in this code, which again is available in the blog post linked in the description. Go ahead and save it and upload it back to your server. If none of these solutions work for you, then the next step is to contact your web host. Tell them you want to increase the memory limit, upload max size and post max size in your php.ini file. Most hosts will not have a problem doing this. And if your hosting service will not let you or they're unresponsive, it may be time to find hosting elsewhere. If this video helped you in any way, then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and follow us on all of our social platforms to keep up to date with our latest content. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.